how much of speed chess is recognizing positions versus uh, improvising tactics? Mostly improvising tactics. Uh, almost every game goes off the rails at some point. Rare is the occasion when you follow some sort of main line. I mean, you can make positional moves in bullet, but it mostly reduces down to, oh, I see a cool square. I see the E5 square. My knight's on A1. I'm just going to telescope onto that square. That That's the extent of strategic reasoning uh, that you have in bullet. Mostly it's spotting two or three move tactics. So, so important to avoid one move blunders because that really kills your momentum. And I do think it's important to go into positions that you generally understand. That's why I was doing King's Indian. And I was playing the Belgrade Gambit, which which is an opening I've analyzed and played a ton uh, on my stream. And it it really brought me a lot of comfort uh, that, that we had structures where I knew uh, that I was playing decent ideas. But mostly it is just flash pattern recognition. And almost all games, no matter how they begin, ultimately boil down to who sees more short tactics. Is there any sort of uh, advice you can give to prepare for such an intense match like this? Um, I mean, I don't think there's anything specific in terms of advice. I think the main thing is just trying to stay calm because certainly in chess, there, there's a lot of tilt. It, it definitely applies more to blitz and certainly to both and say rapid or classical. But the main thing is always just trying to stay calm because it's very easy to tilt and then lose a game in like 20 seconds. Like Andrew, for example, in his match against Daniel, there were a couple of times where it seemed like he was getting close and then like he lost the game and then he instantly lost that next game in like 20 seconds uh, purely due to tilt. So certainly the main thing is just to try and stay calm and not... Not, I'm not, not lose your mind. It's very, very easy in bullet because you only have one minute for the whole game. Just like blitz out 20 moves, get a losing position, and then just, just like that, you can ruin the match. So overall, I mean, I, I think that's the most important thing. Is just, yeah, just relaxing. Does your repertoire change much between uh, bullet blitz and rapid chess? Um, I mean, I, I would say that the the. It, it depends on the player. I, th I think that some of the openings that I'm able to use, say, against Jose or against uh, Amino Hanian, for example, uh, probably would not work against a player like Andrew Tang uh, very specifically. But but generally, I think it's player by player. And there, there are a couple of players where I think some of the some of the sidelines don't work as well, simply because they're very, very fast. Um, but overall, there isn't there, there really isn't that big of a difference, except for a couple of specific players where I think certainly when I play some of the nonsense sidelines, they're very good. I think Ali Reza actually is another player where when I play the sidelines, he's, he's very well prepared for them. So some players I try to avoid it, but for the most part, there, there isn't a huge difference between Blitz and Bull. Between Classical and Rapid, it's it's massive. And I think that certainly um, there, there are a lot of openings that in Classical Chess, I would just never, never use and never use in Bullet for sure.